Number eight in the Radiance range is A Woman Kills from 1968. Now this was a lost movie, lost for 40 years, really quick runtime of 68 minutes and it really paints a picture of a time and a place. That place uh, is, is France in 1968, uh, all this political turmoil is going on and we're focusing on a serial killer. And the way this movie delivers its story is done through some unusual techniques that really add to the aesthetic of the film. It's filmed like a, an almost documentary. We get all these strange point of view shots. We get strange artistic shots of people just doing day-to-day -day chores as we have lots of uh, noise and voiceovers telling us the kind of story up to the certain point where we see our main character. Je suis peur, je suis peur. Louis Galbeau as our main character, he is an executioner. He works at the prison, uh, the last person that most criminals see when they're sentenced to death. He has just killed a female serial killer and almost immediately after um, he delivers the sentence, killings start happening again in a similar vein of the person that has just been executed. Le 1er mai 68, son corps est retrouvé au bois de Boulogne. Sur le coup, des marques de strangulation. And the main drive of the story, which is not the main focal point I would say of the film, is definitely trying to find out who this killer is, why they're doing what they're doing, was someone wrongly um, executed because of faults in the judicial system. But it doesn't focus on that, although it has ideas leaning towards giallo um, and never fully embraces it. It's more of an artistic take on that kind of story. It's almost secondary to the visual and audio senses that are assaulted and attacked throughout the film. Dernière nouvelle, les crimes continuent malgré l'exécution d'Hélène Picard. Après la mort d'Hélène Picard, un nouvel assassinat. The way it repeats information, the way it repeats dialogue as it comes back um, constantly just over various images. The way we see conversations and move away from that to other images where the conversation continues to play is a, a very playful way in telling a story and definitely kept me interested in the film. It did make it a little bit harder to connect with some of the material that was going on here but ultimately I found myself really liking this one. The story itself thankfully isn't the main driving point of it because I feel that it's rather um, easy to kind of see where it's going to go to. Very early on you get an idea of how this is going to play out and it doesn't really move away from that. It doesn't deviate or offer anything in the form of surprises. I did like the way it kind of showed us the world that we were in. Uh, the point of view of various characters as they walk through hallways, down streets, the way it focused on characters doing the most mundane of tasks but painted it in a really interesting light. That ferocious and final 15 minutes where we get uh, a really interesting chase sequence through a dilapidated building that is just wonderfully shot terribly exciting, more visceral than I expected to get from this film. <laughs> Quick and punchy at 68 minutes. It has a very dreamlike quality to it. In fact, there is some uh, nursery rhyme music intertwined within the score that kind of alludes to that as well. And it, it feels almost ethereal at certain t uh, points of the film. But I liked all of that. Together, it was a collective oddity that I just loved. Mixing slashers and uh, giallo, proto-giallo uh, into this really kind of made it grab my attention. But it was the style, it was a little bit of the substance to it. It was the artistic take and how it told the story that really grabbed me more than anything. I really liked The Woman Kills. It was a surprising film, uh, which delivers a lot more than the synopsis kind of promised. Of course, that's another Radiance packed disc of extras. Let's dive in and have a look and see what's in store here. So here we are in the disc for A Woman Kills. Let's go to the special features. 
First up, we have an introduction by Virgin Silavi, which is 4 minutes 58 seconds long. Uh, just a great little talk about this lost film, how it's put together and its kind of reception since it's been released. We have a wonderful commentary by Kat Ellinger and Virgin Silavi, which I would highly recommend checking out. We have On the Margin, The Cursed Films of Jean Denis Bonan. This documentary by Francis Le Comet uh, was produced by Luna Park Films in 2015 and features interviews with the director, cinematographer, editor, musician, and actress. In 2022, some footage was added by Le Comte for this release. It's 30 minutes in length and it, it really is kind of fun just seeing the people that are talking to. Watching the director, who is just overly animated and so informative and entertaining, is just a great extra. Next up, we have several short films, um, all which are various kind of, all with varying degrees of success. Some I liked more than others, but all well worth checking out. Fairly quick and easy to get through, and we have a trailer in this as well. And that's the disc for A Woman Kills. So there we have it. A Woman Kills from 1968, number 8 in the ratings range, is another unusual film. I really like how they're kind of scattering all their choices of releases over these various um, countries, time spans, uh, the genre of films that they're delivering, and they're all interesting in their own way. Again, I would recommend this one if you kind of uh, like the sound of this, like the look of it, definitely jump on it, it's well worth seeing. I would love to know your opinion of A Woman Kills if you've checked it out. Let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle, whether you've picked it up or whether you're thinking about getting it. I would love to know either way. There is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program, manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.